Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of the Aqua Top on White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, so she's just going to work in her experience for now. <laughs> oh, jealous baby. Huh? She cute though. I mean... But, okay, of course, because Kukudu is going to feel some type of way because she's like, hold up, this girl's just going to work here because she needs experience because she's going to be, she's getting hired at another aquarium and such because, you know, ours is shutting down and it's just that and a third. But I feel like this is going to give Kukudu an opportunity to make other friends besides the friends that she has. I mean, mm, slash her girlfriend because, I mean, yeah, she was sweet to her girlfriend. She was sweet to Fuka. Um, but when it comes to someone who is possibly going to take away the aquarium and such, this girl is like, she a little standoffish. But she, you know what? That's okay. Um, I'm like that too. <laughs> Sometimes, depending on who it is. Because, you know, first impressions are everything and you really don't know how truly someone's going to act until you get to know them. And then let's say you've known someone for a couple of years and they do something to F you over. Yeah. <laughs> then you have the right to feel some type of way about the person. Because <laughs> I know I would. Exactly. Just for experience, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, I don't think she's going to be okay. Oh, honey. You, you know, to you, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh. Well, damn, you know your stuff. I mean, come on. You can be friends with her. Stop being so stuck up and mean. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. You're acting more like Ron from Bang Dream. <laughs> than freaking Kokoro. Yeah, 
Kokoro or Miku? Because. <laughs> say that it's still really important and it has a special connection to people Good. What a shit! She's not going to say anything about one of them biting her. I'm about to be like, I'm about to put some Hello Happy World up on her ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she about to be like, let me show her the power of best girl. Definitely, but she'll get over it. Oh, are you okay? Are you choking? Cause she's stuck up.
It's a little bit of both, babe. On my thigh. No, 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 no. Oh, there you go. You were right there. And you gonna bark at me now, little dog. <laughs> Hello, big boy. No, good boy. <laughs> Thank you. Stop it. <laughs> You guys, come on now. Right. But it makes you very suspicious of her. And I, and it seems like she's hiding something, but I don't know why. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> yeah, you know, like Disney.
my god! I can't even see me. See, what makes him a legendary, you know, <laughs> aquarium director is him having relationships with all of his customers who come in every day. At least stay there for one more day. And you got a problem with that? <laughs> like you saw your parents. And to make you have connections with people, not only them, but the animals as well, which you have, but not the greatest with people yet. Oh, you're right about that. <laughs> oh
think she's going to regret saying that, though. <laughs> I knew we were almost done with the episode, but I didn't think we were that close. I was thinking this was going to go for like two extra minutes, but no. And that makes me wonder what she has to tell Fuka and how the situation between um, Kukuru and Chiyu was going to go. But of course, we ain't going to be able to see that until next week. But Chiyu, you know, in, in the first half of the episode, she's very sweet and kind and nurturing and everything. But because of the fact is she wanted to be taught by a legendary aquarium director, didn't, and then eventually did when she asked him to, and only really, you know, saw him talk to people most of the day, she feels like, yeah, she feels a little half-assed. She feels like she got into a situation that she can't get out of now. So she's like, yeah, can I move on to someone else to a different aquarium, get a better experience? But I think Kukuru, what she's going to do is she's going to chase after her and to try to get a better experience with her and so that she can come back to Gama Gama and to experience things. Just because people are not looking at the fish or anything doesn't mean that they don't know anything or even interacting with the fish. Because you could see that the two kids and the old woman knew their ish. They're still paying attention even if they're just sitting there like having a conversation with someone else or this is not in the third. You're not going to break in, are you? I mean, it's still being built, but of course you're going like that. But, I mean, this is a really good episode. Honestly, you know, especially with having, for the first eight episodes of the show, and I'm also going to include this episode as well. So for the first nine weeks of this show, um, seeing people come in and out of the aquarium and, you know, spending their time there talking to friends and everything kind of reminds me of, okay, so up the street from where I live, um, we have a mall called the Regency Square Mall. And this mall, I, I I don't know how long the mall has been um there. I know I probably probably a couple years after I was born, it it, it it was there from what I remember because as a kid, um before I moved to Nebraska for six years in two thousand and three, um, I would go there with my parents all the time. So when I came back here in 2008, um, Regency Square Mall and then like Orange Park Mall and several other malls around here and um, Jack's, there were, they were the places to be. Now it's more of like outlet malls and it's like that. So anytime where before, we're in 2021, so I would say maybe before 20, 2017, probably um maybe even earlier than that there was a point where like you could tell that because there, there's areas in the regency square mall that are now officially cut off now also because when covid got big they had to use half of the mall to you know do the covid testings and everything and this is that and the third and such so there wasn't that much um stores in there and then i think the year prior to that when we had the really bad hurricane come to Florida and where people were standing outside around the mall to get their, um, I think the checks that they were sending to the government, 
uh, the yeah the checks that the government was sending to us um to just for damages and anything and groceries and stuff like that um we had to stand outside in the hot sun but you could also see that there were a lot of stores that were there not being there anymore and so like um the St. John's Town Center which is like down the also street from me about like 5 10 minutes away um that is now the place to be that orange park st augustine and a couple other places around here that is where it is so kind of in a way regency square mall i feel like it's slowly but surely going out of business but there are new people pl uh, buying places and storages for certain areas so i have not been like i said i haven't been in that mall in about a whoa, in years i think almost maybe like 10 years now um, and I live right down the street from it. And all I know is that now there's a boba place inside there. Maybe I'll one day I'll go in there just to see what it looks like now. But because I went in there last year to do COVID testing and I was in and out like within 10 minutes and such, I didn't really get to see everything because they had everything cut off. But it, it's very similar to that because when people used to go to this mall, people were there not only to just be at the mall and go shopping, it was a moment where people could go with, hang out with their friends, family members, whoever, and have a time to sit, talk, and everything. Even though you can always do that at home, but when you are somewhere else and just, you know, you're not in your house or anything, you know, you get to have that away time from being at, being at home or being stuck at home all the time. But, yeah, that's kind of in the way of what Gama Gama Aquarium is and how the connection to Gama Gama is to everyone in a way. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode 9 of the Aqua Top <clears throat> on White Sand. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 10. Bye, guys.